I often get asked how I put my zipper pulls onto my continuous zipper tape. And I do that using this little gadget here, which is simply a tea towel holder. So I do have these listed on my website, um, so you can get them there. But if you are looking for them in other places, they are simply just referred to as tea towel holders. So I'll go through with you how um, I put my zipper pulls onto the zipper tape. So I'm going to start by taking this pull off. Apologies for the zipper tape and the zipper pull not matching in colour. It is just literally what I had to hand um, when I decided to film this. So we're going to start with the zipper pull with this part facing down and it's going to slot into the holder like so. So you want the rounded part of the zip you want that to be facing up over so I hope you can hope you can see that all right so then what we're going to do is we're going to separate the zip and the zip wants to be fed in at around about a 60 degree angle so if you come in too straight they won't meet very well if you come in at too much of an angle they just won't it just won't work so you want around about a 60 degree angle and we're just literally going to feed in each side until we feel them meet so you can see the bottom part there is really nice and straight i know that i cut the zip straight if your zip is a little bit uneven what you can do in order to get it to match up when you're feeding it through is you can draw a line before you start to feed the zipper tape through so that when you fed it through if this line meets up on either side you know that it's going to be input perfectly but what we simply do is pull the zipper tape on And that zipper tape is on it's on nice and evenly on both sides there's no excess of zipper tape on either side so that's gone on really really straightforward so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to correct it if it doesn't go on correctly the first time so i'm going to feed this zipper tape in and i'm going to try and get it in more on one side than the other which normally is what happens, but because I'm trying to make it happen, it probably won't. There we go. So that's quite sort of excessively out, and you will be able to see that that's out straight away. And obviously, if we pull the zip up, we can see that there's much more zipper tape on this side than on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to correct it. And you don't need to take the zipper tape off completely so we'll just put the zipper pull back into the holder and what we're going to do is we're just going to take the zipper tape back up to this point and then re-feed it through so it doesn't need to come off completely and then we start it again you just need to take it back to that point and then just Play it around until you get them to meet and then just keep bringing it through until you've got that bottom part lined up perfectly. So you can see it's ever so slightly out still on one side than the other. So I'm just going to come out again. Until I'm happy with it. And there we go. I'm happy with that now. So that is the zipper pull all installed onto the zipper tape. So it works if it's a number five zipper tape, number three zipper tape, 
um, you just need to make sure that the sizes of the zipper pull matches to the size of the zipper tape. So if you're using a number three pull, it needs to be a number three tape. If you're using a number five, it needs to be a number five tape. Ideally, get your zipper pulls and your tape from the same place. That way that you'll know that they'll match up. But you, they are pretty standard. Um, so you, you will find that they probably will, will work. But just to be on the safe side, get the same um, tape. Get, sorry, get your tape and your zipper pulls from the same place. If you find that um, the the zipper tape, the zipper pull, sorry, is a little bit loose to the zipper um, tape, what you can do is some just using a pair of pliers. Sometimes they just need to be nipped together a little bit. Um, sometimes at this bottom edge. If you use a pair of pliers and nip them ever so slightly it'll help so sometimes if you've got a zipper pull that you know will work with that zipper tape and just one for some reason isn't working that's a little tip is just to use a pair of pliers put a little bit of electrician's tape around the pliers so that it doesn't damage the um, finish on your zipper pull and just sort of nip the pull together a little bit and that that will help it work so I hope you found that helpful. I will be doing a few more other videos on um, zipper tape and how to get good finishes when you insert in zippers, in bags, pouches, that sort of thing. So they'll be coming in the next few weeks. But I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And until next time, see you later.